Hi and welcome. In this video I will provide an overview of the GT power wattmeter and power analyzer. This is a versatile instrument that can be used to measure the electrical properties uh, in a circuit uh, in a range of different contexts. It's been fitted with uh, two uh, high quality genuine uh, 50 amp Anderson plugs on either end so it's particularly useful in the Australian camping and um, uh, environment where Anderson is used uh, as the standard. Let's have a look first and what you'll get in the package. Uh, you will, uh, you'll, you'll get the original uh, box which is like this and inside this box you'll uh, have some uh, instructions. Um, I've also put together uh, a very good uh, printed guide which is, uh, follows closely to what I'm outlining here to give you some idea of uh, how it works and some examples of how you might use it. And then I've also uh, made up these little uh, 9 volt battery leads so that you can externally power the uh, meter. But we'll have a look how that works uh, in just a moment. So let's, let's have a bit of a look at the meter first. So as you can see uh, it has a source and a load connection. So basically you put this meter in the circuit that you've already uh, got. So one typical example is that you want to know how much power a solar cell is generating. So uh, you would normally have your, your solar cell that's got an Anderson plug at the end of it uh, and then that would be connected into your, your uh, solar controller. Well, in this scenario, you would just simply disconnect the Anderson plug, place the solar cell on the, in the source end here on the left, and then connect your solar regulator to the load uh, end here. And that way, you're actually measuring what is going on between the solar cell and the uh, solar controller. Uh, but you could also use it uh, in a wide variety of contexts. You might, for instance, have a battery, uh, which is the source in this case, and then you've got uh, something like a fridge that you want to know how much power is being consumed. Uh, so you would then simply connect the fridge uh, uh, input into the uh, load side of the uh, meter. So all you really need to sort of remember is the source is what is generating the power and the load is what is consuming the power and this meter sits in between to measure what is going on. Okay, so when you connect this meter up to a source of power, it will automatically power up because it's actually powered by the source power. So that's actually quite useful in some ways because you don't need to power it uh, externally. However, if the source power switches off for some reason, or like a solar cell, at night it's no longer generating power, the power to the meter will also be stopped. So you might uh, then lose some of the cumulative uh, statistics that you've been gathering over time. So we'll talk about how you can externally power this in a moment. But just for now, uh, note that uh, the meter is actually powered by the source. Um, very small amount of power, I might add. It's, uh, it's not, not at all uh, a large amount of current. Um, let's just have actually look, I'll just turn my load off. Uh, it looks to be there about 26 milliamps, which is actually uh, pretty, pretty small. Uh, let's have a look at uh, what you're actually measuring. So up, up in the top left hand corner we have the current uh, and that's measured in amps so in this case here it's 1.51 amps and as you can see uh, as I vary the, uh, the amount of current that the load is consuming the current uh, will increase. Now this is an instantaneous measure so it's actually being measured in real time so you can see as I'm adjusting that current 
or adjusting the load, uh, it is, is, is automatically uh, adjusting there. In the top right hand side, we are measuring the voltage. Now this is the voltage uh, at the source side of the, uh, of the uh, meter. Um, so if I adjust this voltage here from the source, we will see that it's going down uh, and it's being tracked in real time. So that's actually quite useful to be able to see uh, what's going on on the source side. On the bottom right hand side, uh, we see the amount of power being consumed on the load side. So if this were the case, say, of a fridge or a light, a 12-volt LED, for instance, this is telling you how much power is being consumed by that load. And you can see in uh, our case here, uh, it's about 19.5 uh, watts. Now, as we know from Ohm's law, power is current times voltage, so we're just simply multiplying the current and the voltage together. So they're the three uh, instantaneous or real-time uh, values that it reads. The other items are measured over time. So let's have a look. They are on the bottom uh, left-hand side and they cycle through a range of different items. So let's have a look uh, at the first one here. Uh, for instance, uh, 0.772 amp hours. Now amp hours are a measure of power uh, consumed over time. So this represents how many uh, amp hours have been consumed since the meter was turned on. So that's important. Uh, so it, 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 if the meter is powered off, if, if I were to turn the power off here now, and I can just actually do that, uh, if, I, if I just simply turn the meter, the source power off, you'll notice the meter powers down, and when I power it on, you'll see that the amp hours have gone back to zero. So it really is only uh, measuring it as long as there is power um, connected to the meter, so that's important to realise. Let's have a look at our next uh, measure. And and that is what WH, which is watt hours. This is uh, again another measure of power, uh, and again it, it's a cumulative thing, and it will um, it will increase over time, giving you a measure of how many watt hours were consumed by the by the load over time. Let's have a look at the next one: um, amp hours, watt hours. Uh, AP, this is amps peak. This represents the maximum amount of current that has actually been um, in this circuit since it was turned on. So it's a, it just represents the, a peak. Now you might have had a, uh, you know, a solar cell connected and, the, the, and it was you know, in ideal conditions and it, it was the really producing a lot of current. And so that will show you what the peak value was. Let's uh, go to the next one, amp hours again, uh, watt hours, amps peak, VM, this is V minimum, voltage minimum. This represents the lowest voltage that has been detected at the source end uh, since the meter was turned on. Let's have a look at the next one, watt hours, amps peak, voltage minimum. WP. This is watts peak. This represents the uh, highest or peak value of, of, of power um, expressed in watts uh, that has been detected or measured uh, since turn on. Okay, so let's go watts peak. So then we're cycling back to amp hours again. So they're, they're all the values that it uh, measures cumulatively over time, which is actually really useful, particularly the amp hours one, because it can give you a measure of <coughs> how much power is either generated in the case of a solar cell or is consumed in the case of a load or... Um, Okay, let's um, now have a look at how we can externally power this meter so that uh, you know, if, if the source power were to go off uh, for some reason, you would, you would not lose all your cumulative measurements. So let's just um, power the meter off. 
and I'm going to first of all just disconnect my little uh, leads here from the Anderson. I've got this actually just connected to a little power supply at the moment and a little electronic load so I can simulate it. Now you'll notice on the side of uh, this meter there's a little, uh, a little connector and on the back here you'll see uh, that it has uh, positive and negative. So th there's three pins in this little plug uh, and really the only pins that are being utilised are the two that are the, the plus and the minus which provides the power. So in your, in your um, package you will get this little uh, lead that I've actually made up so that you can use a 9 volt battery to power this. Now, for those of you uh, are not familiar, uh, um, positive is a red lead, so that's important. So you'll notice then that you've got negative down the bottom and plus. You need to make sure that the, the plus is aligned with the plus and the minus is aligned with the minus. Okay, so it's not going to work if you have it around the wrong way, and it is possible to put it around the other way. So uh, you, you, I've got some good um, pictures of this in the uh, in the guide uh, that I uh, send out with the with the meters. So don't worry if you if you're not seeing it in, clearly in this video. Okay, once you once you've got um, once you've got that connected in, all you need to do then is just simply uh, connect up a 9 volt battery to the meter. Now you'll notice that as soon as I did that uh, the meter sprang to life uh, and it, it, um, it begins working. Now in this case of course there is no source uh, voltage at all so it is accurately measuring that and saying that it is zero. So let's connect my power supply up again uh, and get us a bit of a, uh, a uh, source of power and I'll connect my load up again. Okay and I'll turn on my power supply and I shall turn on my load. Okay, there we go. So now you can see that uh, I'm uh, again back measuring instantaneous values. I'll just bring it up to say 15 volts and just uh, increase the, the load a little, say up to, up to 2 amps. It's 30 watts uh, nearly, or 39.9 um, watts being consumed. Now you'll notice here that um, uh, all my cumulative values have begun to increment. Now if I turn off my source, you'll notice that my cumulative values are still uh, there, even though the voltage on the input is zero uh, and there's no power for the meter. It is continuing to be powered uh, by the little nine volt battery here. So that's actually really useful, particularly uh, if you've got solar cells connected because as I said, uh, that voltage can sometimes disappear for one reason or another. But it's also useful if you want to just uh, you know, disconnect your source for one reason or another, you're not gonna lose all the values that you've been measuring over time. So I just turn the uh, power back on here you'll notice that uh, once again the amp power starts incrementing from where uh, it sort of last, last, uh, last was. So uh, there we are, that's the uh, GT watt meter and power analyzer. Uh, I really hope you have enjoyed this video uh, of its, uh, of its uh, functions and potential uses. Thanks for watching.